The Wheat School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by CNMC, Syngenta Canada, and the Alberta Wheat Commission. Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete, realagriculture.com, and we're back here with Ellen Sperry. She's the general manager here at CNM Seeds, and we're in the research plots. This is actually the Ontario Cereal Crop Committee performance trials. We love coming here close to harvest or through grain fill and see what things look like. Always find something interesting. Ellen, what's interesting here this year? So this year, what's kind of cool that we haven't seen before actually is we were walking the plots a day or two ago and noticed uh, what appeared to be frost damage on one variety in particular. And the interesting thing was it was more damaged in one rep versus another. And we noticed the difference was between sprayed and unsprayed. Okay, so the frost damage is, is sort of not maybe surprising because we had some really cold temperatures and we do see a little bit of frost damage in winter barley. We expected frost damage in winter canola, didn't really get it, but this is frost damage that like that would have been early on when this crop was quite small. Kind of unusual, isn't it, to get frost damage at that time? It is something we really have not seen before, to be honest, in our plot. So this is a very unique situation. Yeah, and so you said it's worse in one rep. Do you mean it, it like it's, is it only in one rep? Yeah, so should reword that. So this appears in all the reps. But again, what we do in the performance trial at some locations is where we have the managed trial and we have one, uh, so they're on equal sides of the uh, alleyway here and this side would be unsprayed and that side is sprayed with fungicide. Okay, so the sprayed, the fungicide sprayed has to be worse, right? Absolutely, mm -hmm. has to be worse. So that's what we would expect. I don't know why we would expect that, but that that's the feeling, right? But no, this year the unsprayed was quite different than the sprayed, like just visibly. And so it's really the see. unsprayed that has more frost damage. Correct, sorry, yes. Yeah, it's interesting. So let's think about why that might be. Uh, did it affect maturity at all? So we do still have to confirm that, but I would, I would expect that is the case. So the sprayed potentially was a little bit later. And again, for I'm sure we were all glued to our phones watching that weather, like night after night for about three nights in a row. And there would be one or two nights where, yes, we had below zero minus temperatures. Yeah. And if that plot that was sprayed was a day or two later, then it potentially escaped. Really interesting because there's other varieties, like this is a later variety, so you'd say, okay, but there's other later varieties not as impacted. Mm -hmm. So is there a potential, not only that the fungicide delayed maturity, but could it actually add some stress tolerance as well to where we sprayed that fungicide? So yeah, I think there's been some research to show that some fungicides can offer that stress tolerance, not just to, I think, frost damage, but other other um, issues as well, I believe. Yeah, so that's 100% right. Like we get a hailstorm and people immediately call me up and say, Pete, come on, I've got to do something. I have, help me save my wheat crop. I'll spray a fungicide. Yeah, it doesn't work then. It just doesn't work then. If you're going to do it, you have to, have to do it two days before you get the hailstorm and then it can make it more stress tolerant. So interesting that if you sprayed that T1 fungicide, normally a T1, an early fungicide, we wouldn't expect this impact. But yeah, if you sprayed that two days before we got that cold temperature, then we might induce that, that frost tolerance. We know that that actually can happen. So wow, really, really cool. Once again, Ellen, the performance trials, cereal crop committee, and some amazing stuff coming out of here. Great data for the farmer, right? If they want to know about varieties, where do they look? So they're going to go to gocereals.ca and uh, to look for this information, other agronomic information, and the managed and unmanaged yield data, lodging data, etc. So, yeah. so really cool that in the trials we do with fungicide, without fungicide, and, and growers can look at both of that. So excellent information. Ellen, always a pleasure to come and visit with you. You always have you always have great trials, but you always have cool stuff in the trials. Always something to learn. Absolutely. With that, Peter Johnson at Wheat Pete. Whatever you do, pick a great variety with the cereal crop trials and grow great wheat. <laughs>